In a world that relies heavily on computers and information, it is increasingly more important to be able to protect and hide any proprietary programming. Since computer programs are one of the most complex things ever created by humans, computer scientists are moving past tools such as cryptography, encryption, and authentication to obscure their software and keep proprietary information secure. This is called software obfuscation. If total software obfuscation is possible, that would be a cryptographer's perfect solution to ultimately protect information. Join us to discover the possibilities of total software obfuscation. Dr. Boaz Barak is a computer science professor at Harvard University. He and the computer science community hope that we can one day achieve complete software obfuscation. The goal would not be a more complex, time-consuming program to access, but to make it completely infeasible to access by being unreadable. Program obfuscation is about trying to take a program and convert it into a different form, which is still usable. You can still run it on a computer, but you cannot understand it. So traditional cryptography was about secret writing. It was about protecting your data. But today, cryptography is usually about much more than that, in particular protecting your computation and not just information. If the program contains some hidden uh, information, you cannot extract that information from this representation. For example, when Apple releases an iPhone software update, they need all their users to be able to download the update without being able to see the proprietary code running it. So suppose I am going on vacation and being maybe somewhat paranoid, all my email is encrypted. And while I'm on vacation, I want my colleague to be able to uh, read some of my email, but only email that is on a particular topic. I could just give my colleague my secret key but then she would be able to read all my email. So instead, I'm writing a program that if the topic is M, then you know, use the secret key to decrypt. So I can give my colleague this program, and whenever she gets an encrypted message, she could feed that message to this program and then get the message if it's on this topic. Now, the problem is that if she actually goes and reads the code of this program, she will learn my secret key. It's just written there. Obfuscation allows us to change this thing to some different set of arithmetic operations that don't seem to make any sense. But if she runs these operations on the message, if the message is on this topic, she will get the decryption. If the message is not on this topic, she will get nothing. And by looking at this description, she will not be able to learn the secret key. Software obfuscation is still in early stages and could be years until we achieve it. But recently, computer scientists have made a lot of promising advances. Until a few years ago, all the signs were negative that it would be possible even in theory. Now we have some positive signs that it might be possible in theory. The distance from theory to practice is still very significant. You can think of it as laying down an approach that might result in secure and efficient obfuscation. The next step for the entire community to A, really try to base this on more sound foundations try to find better assumptions on which we can base security, and B, try to bring it st uh, closer to practice by um, making it more efficient. Find out more in the review article, Hopes, Fears, and Software Obfuscation in the March 2016 issue of Communications of the ACM.